Yo, what is going on YouTube? So I have another RC car unboxing and this is going to be very exciting. So today, your boy went out and go, went a little crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then I got me a slash, tracks a slash. This is a two wheel drive, well, not a four wheel drive, but you know, you're going to have a lot of fun with this thing. And it goes 30 miles per hour and it uses the new USB C charger included and the batteries included too. And wow, this thing is totally massive. And as you can see the box, it here's the content. So it comes with the digital steering servo and it comes with the, the X5 electronic speed control and the 12T 550 motor. And it comes with a plantary differential or torque control slipper clutch and all your fill ultra shocks. And it does come with the new USB-C adapter charger, 45 watts. So I think that's pretty special. But without further ado, let's get this uh, big behemoth 110 scale out of its box. So yeah, magic time. All right, guys. So what is included inside the package is the RC car itself and the USB-C battery charger. So you plug this into any USB-C cable and then you plug the battery in here, which is very good because USB-C charges faster. But to know, it does not come with the cable and the brick. So you have to provide it yourself. But obviously I have it because I obviously have a new phone. So you use USB-C also. And also this is the controller. Very simple, basic. Uh, tracks as controller it does require six AA batteries though which is um kind of weird which is not included for at the price of it and the car is a 110 scale which is pretty huge the shots on it is very good but this one has clipped in body so you don't have like to use a screwdriver to take the body out which is pretty good and look at all the accessory that comes in there i'm gonna set the car down because of the i don't know what these are but these are probably like drive shafts it comes with some extra uh, flywheels and actually a metal, a small metal one. It does need six required double batteries for the remote, which I do got. But it got this antenna for something. I'm not sure what that's for, but leave a comment down below if you guys know if it goes anywhere in the car. And some booklet instructions on the 2S LiPo battery and everything and whatever this thing is. But uh, yeah, time to put six AA batteries in the car first and then I'm going to show you how to take the body of the traction slash out and this is a two-wheel drive car by the way so you know keep that in mind so to install the batteries in the controller you just slide it out no uh screwdriver needs which is plus so far for traxxas and shouts out to traxxas and shouts out to uh fayette hobbies and i forgot that this thing only takes four double batteries but i got six by accident because i miss uh misheard traxxas so my bad there you go put some batteries in there and yep it is on and it is working and how do i turn this remote off should have an off button right this is the steering trim and oh my batteries popped out so i didn't put the cover back in yet boom put it back in should slide the cover back in so the batteries won't fall out boom just like that your remote is on your steering trim it says your remote is on as always and oh here's the power button so turn it off you just switch that to turn it off and switch it back to turn it on then you know the green indicator let you know that the remote is on and now i'm gonna show you guys how to take the rc car apart so you flip it on the underside of its body as you can see you have that uh waterproof or digital electronic right there so you can you know use this thing in water and it does drive 30 miles per hour and those oil fill shocks are so smooth. I, man, I can't wait to test this thing. And I will do the testing in a separate video because right now it's kind of dark outside and I can't go outside and test it, but I will do that in the a separate video. So stay tuned for that. But to um, take the, um, the shell out of its whole compartment thing, all you do is you unclip four of these pegs on each side, two in the front and two in the back. No screwdriver needed. Like my Armoro, it literally need pins, but this one is just clips. They're both easy, but I recommend the clips better because they hold it, the body in better actually. So you pull that, then you hear those clicking sounds, then boom, just like that, your whole body comes out of the shell. So as you can see, this is a 110 scale and I'm gonna set the body down to the side for now. And I'm gonna show you guys the inside 
So actually, as you can see, you have the oil fill shocks up in the front. And this thing is a two wheel drive. And as you can see, the battery connects to here with the um, with the waterproof XL5 ESC motor. And it connects to the 3000 milliamp uh, 8.4 volt uh, nickel metal hydrogen battery, which is very good. And all you do to use it is you just connect it and it is connected to a electronic waterproof um, motors, which is really good. So you can drive this thing underwater. And obviously you see that motor in the rear wheels. That's a Titan 12T motor, which is very powerful, 550 volts. And you just plug this guy in. Very simple if I'm doing it the right way. Okay, that's the wrong way. Oh, it even says TRX. Oh, what is this, RAM now? But anyways. Boom, just plug that guy in, and then there should be a power button somewhere here. And here's the instruction. And there should be a power button somewhere here. Oh, the, oh, and then it's on. And you turn your remote on. And obviously it pairs. And obviously it works, and there's your power button. I didn't know that. Wow, this is low voltage. So I probably need to charge this thing. Ooh, that's turning, oh. Okay, this thing is pretty fast, so you gotta be careful. Don't recommend you plug this thing in the house, but I'm gonna turn the remote off and I'm gonna turn the car off. You turn that off and I'm gonna disconnect the battery. Kinda hard to take it out here. You need a Am I pulling it correctly or? There you go. It does take a little bit of effort though. But to take the battery out, it's pretty simple. You hit this little peg here out and then you lift this thing up and then you should take this thing off. And then here's your battery. And holy smokes, that is a big battery. As you can see, this is the Traxxas Power Cell 8.4 volt nickel motor hydrogen, 3000 milliamps an hour ID, auto battery identification. So obviously uh, certified. And to put it back in, it's pretty simple. You just slide the battery back in there. Boom, just like that. Make sure that, you know, this thing sits perfectly, the two wires, and put this back in here. And slam this guy back on. And then you use this to lock her back up. And then you should be good to go, just like that. Pretty much like any standard uh, RC car. And the turning radius on this thing is 45 degrees and it can climb also 45 degrees, which is pretty good and obviously you have some bump shocks right here or some bumpers front bumper and a back bumper so to let you know not to bump into things you got to be careful with this thing actually you can bump into things pretty fast and pretty easy and yeah overall this thing looks pretty darn nice may do a little drive test in my room probably not a good idea but i'm gonna try it anyways so yeah it does have a electronic uh waterproof uh technology in here which i do like a lot and look at this 110 scale and this is the blue one, which looks very nice. I do love this body style a lot, actually. And this thing looks absolutely beautiful, honestly. Dude, it looks like we do have a little bit of paper seal right there. Go ahead and move that thing a little bit. All right, but anyways, let's get back to focusing on the RC cars. But yeah, overall, the ESC motor seems pretty good. This thing goes 30 miles per hour plus. It probably can reach 35, even if it's on a fully charged. But obviously the remote is a 2.4 gigahertz. And obviously any tracks of the remote is obviously very comfortable. So I do like it a lot. And now featuring USB-C charge. Wow, I do like this a lot. Keep doing the Traxxas. Shouts out to Traxxas. But yeah, without further ado, I'm going to give you guys a little, uh, little driving test in my house. You know, it's probably not a good idea. But I'll still try it anyway. So <laughs> let's get to the driving test. All right, so now we're at the driving test of the Traxxas Slash. Uh, two-wheel drive as you can see turning radius is pretty good and now let's press the gas I know it's not fully charged right now oh I doubt what this thing will drive like when it's fully charged I bet this thing will be really fast just did a little quick driving test in my room I definitely charge this thing see as you can see it's dying slowly so I'm gonna go recharge it real quick and that was the quick driving test all right, so as you guys can see, that was the driving test of the Traxxas Slash two-wheel drive. And overall, I'm pretty uh, impressed with this RC car. It looks really fun. And overall, I can't wait for this RC car to be out on the roads. 
and when it dries, which I'm really excited for, and it comes with these novelty tires. These are uh, BFG Goodrich tires. Uh, never heard that before, but it does have a lot of grips. Even though it's a two-wheel drive, don't think this thing is a full. It's still a one-tenth scale, so it's pretty big. So, yeah, overall, that's my opinion on this thing. Overall, very great. I do love Traxxas a lot. Traxxas is obviously going to be my one-time favorite. But you guys know what the set button is for? If you're an RC professional, make sure to leave a comment down below. I'm not, like, too professional on RC, but I will get more in-depth with this thing soon once I go to the driving test. So stay tuned for that video. But, yeah, overall, you know, just charge it up. And using the U any USB-C cable and charge this thing up, and you should be ready to go. So, yeah, that's all about my review of this thing. You know, it was a little bit pricey, but, you know, it's totally worth it. And I will throw up the link in the description down below to the actual Traxxas website. So you guys can pick one up for yourself. So, yeah, overall, that's all about my review of the Traxxas Slash two-wheel drive. And I like how Traxxas is going USB-C for their charger. Keep doing it, Traxxas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But overall, look at this. This thing, it flexes. And it the turning radius on this thing is super great. Even the axles are great, too. I do like that a lot. And the whole flame of here is made out of like a pretty hard plastic, which is expected. As you can see, that waterproof bedding down there, as you can see, ESC motor. So they obviously cover it pretty good. And this thing can drive underwater too, which is pretty fun. And uh, it's teamed up with BF Good Rich and Traxxas, as you can see. The fastest name in radio control. Mm -hmm. Don't don't diss me in the comments about Traxxas is not better as armor, but obviously armors are still good too. These are just Traxxas are just for speed and power. So yeah, overall that's all about my review of the Traxxas Slash. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button and comment, like, and subscribe. And yeah, without further ado, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.